Hi, this is Jennifer with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I am here to teach you a little bit about how to identify antique crystal. So obviously this is a beautiful piece of cut antique crystal, but what I want to do first is start with what we see all the time today, which is a regular drinking glass, and that helps explain it best. So already you can see the difference. You can see with a regular glass, you can see that it's almost a little bit foggy in its appearance and it's very, very lightweight. So it doesn't have any lead in it and it doesn't have the clarity that this beautiful piece of crystal does. And so that's because regular glass is 100% recyclable. It's made out of recycled glass. It's made out of sand and limestone and soda ash. And then of course, all those components are heated up and molded into a piece of glass. And so I'm just using a drinking glass as an example, but it can actually be, I mean, any kind of glass um, that has those characteristics. So you can definitely see the difference. Whereas when you're looking at a piece of crystal, and I'm gonna bring this beautiful decanter here into the picture. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, crystal decanter. So obviously it's crystal because we can see the clarity very, very clear and very, very heavy. So crystal glass has a percentage of lead content, anywhere from two to 30% lead content. So the higher the lead content, the more the clarity and the heavier the piece. So you can even really, really see the difference in looking at these two pieces here, that this one clearly has a higher lead content. This one to the left here is actually a beautiful piece of American Brilliant cut glass. And so American Brilliant Cut Glass was very, very popular back in the mid-18th century. It was all the rage in Ireland and England, produced in France. And then back in uh, the United States, this glass became very popular during the 19th century, during the what we call the Brilliant Period. And so these beautiful, beautiful pieces were made and cut with um, rotating wheels of iron or stone. And you can see how not only does this beautiful piece have a high lead content because it's very, very heavy, it's got that clarity, but the cuts have all the refractory um, characteristics. So they are just brilliant. So that's why they called it American Brilliant Glass. And there you can see all the facets on the bottom of this piece. Most of these pieces, you know, they're not necessarily going to be signed but they're gonna be very thick. They're gonna be heavy. Here you can see the thickness of this piece. They're going to be heavy and they were done in all different shapes, decanters, uh, bowls, dishes, console bowls, punch bowls, just beautiful pieces. So I hope that helps give you an idea of how to tell, um, um, you know, crystal versus regular glass as you're doing your searching. These pieces should be up on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com. If you don't find something you're looking for, be sure and message us in the chat box or message us on the website. Sign up for our newsletter for all of our latest finds and go back and look at other videos on great tips to how to identify antiques and um, different types of glass. And we will see you next time.